The Acropolis in Athens was temporarily closed to visitors on Friday as temperatures soared across southern Europe. The ancient monument is one of the most popular landmarks in Greece, attracting visitors from around the world. And some of them told Euronews that they did not mind the heat. Uh, we just flew in from Sydney, Australia. So, um, yeah, look, our visit today was amazing. It was incredible. Really hot, though. So, <laughs> but yeah, amazing. Uh, days like this in, in Australia is, is pretty, pretty normal in summertime, so. And I mean, we're only here once in a lifetime, so why not? I mean, it was amazing. I'm from uh, Tennessee in the States, and it was beautiful, awesome. So you didn't mind the heat? <laughs> the heat was awful, but it was worth the view, for sure. <laughs> the Red Cross offered water and first aid to other visitors who were struggling to cope with rising temperatures that approached 40 degrees Celsius. We had a lot of problems, we had hypothermias, zalades, Αυτά καταλαβαίνετε είναι γιατί και οι ίδιοι δεν προσέχουν λίγο τον εαυτό του. Δεν φοράνε καπέλο, που είναι πάρα πολύ βασικό. Αυτέ τι μέρε δεν πρέπει να βγαίνουμε έξω χωρί να φοράμε το καπέλο μα. Και φυσικά να πίνουμε πολλού χυμού και νερά. On Friday, the monument was closed between noon and 5 p.m. local time. Μόλι έκλεισε η Ακρόπολη λόγω των υψηλών θερμοκρασιών, οι τουρίστε βρήκαν καταφύγιο σε κάποιο από τα εστιατόρια τη περιοχή για να φάνε κάτι και να δροσιστούν. Some employees worked from home on Friday to escape the heat. But many in the tourism sector were not able to do the same. And they had to find ways to deal with the heat wave. Σήμερα έχει πάρα πολύ ζέστη. Είναι μία από τις πιο ζεστές, ίσως η πιο ζεστή μέρα του καλοκαιριού, μέχρι στιγμής τουλάχιστον. Ε, εντάξει, είναι δύσκολο να δουλεύει σε αυτέ τι συνθήκε. Προσπαθούμε να πίνουμε πάρα πολύ νερό, είναι το πιο βασικό. Να κάνουμε κάποιο όπω κάνουν οι αθλητέ τα cool breaks. 